Um, today is uh, February 1st, 2014, and we are at the Mission Inn Resort in, uh, what is this, Howie in the Hills, Florida. This is just north of uh, Orlando, Florida. And um, here today with the gentleman. Um, sir, what is your name? John Hendren. Hey, John. I know we have a little noise in the background. We're going to try to work around that, okay? Okay. All right, and uh, John, what is your address? Uh, 1967 mm -hmm. Hillcrest Oak Drive, Deland, Florida. Okay, and when is your birthday? Uh, 2 1935 Okay, and we are also at the um, Florida Democratic Veterans Caucus yeah. uh, retreat here uh, at uh, Mission Inn. And uh, there's a lot of a lot of conversation going on around us, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep moving forward here. All right. Um, my name is Carlton Cartwright. I'm the executive director for the Children's Coalition Incorporated. Okay. And uh, what war did you serve in? What branch of the service were you in? I was in the army. Okay. And what was your rank when you separated? Corporal. Corporal. And. Uh, Look, can I have that pa I got it. The paperwork. When did you serve? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I was in from 1958 to 1960. Uh-huh. And then uh, in 1961, my reserve unit was called into active duty, and I was in for another year. Okay. So I was actually in for three years. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. And uh, where did you serve? Where, well, tell me first of all, where were you living at the time uh, that you were, were you drafted? Yeah. Okay, where were you living at that I time? I was living in New York. Okay, where? Uh, uh, Hicksville, New York. Okay, all right. All right, and uh, what were you doing at that time before you went enlisted, or before you were drafted? Uh, I was working as a gardener in a private estate. Uh-huh. And uh, why did you join the Army? I mean, uh, why, I know you were drafted. Did you have a choice? No. No. When you come to this country, you don't have a choice. They, you, they say, you, you, they give you papers to sign, uh -huh. and if you don't want to sign them, they'll let you in. Right, okay. So that's the story with that. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I got you. All right, do you, do you recall um, uh, boot camp? Yes, I was. Tell me about it. Where were you? I was in Fort Dix, New Jersey for eight, 16 weeks. Okay. And um, did you... Well, tell me what... That was basic training? Basic training. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I went through basic training with no problem. Uh -huh. And then we went into uh, advanced training for uh -huh. another eight weeks. And uh, they asked, at that time, before that, they asked us what we wanted, where, what we wanted to do. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I put down I wanted to be a cook. But they ended up me making me a truck driver. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long did you train for truck driving? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Okay. All right. And uh, how was that? How were your instructors? Oh, I enjoyed that. I, I really enjoyed it. It was okay. good. Okay. So you learned a lot. I sure did. Okay. And uh, how was the food? I'm going to tell you. A lot of people complain about the army food. Yeah. But all the time I was in the army, I could not complain about the food. Okay. The food was great. <laughs> Good. And I'm glad you. Okay. I'm going to move this just a little bit. Good. Here, I like that better. All right. Cool. All right. Beautiful. All right. Um, so after basic training and tech school, where did you go? I went to uh, Fort Lewis, Washington, for a week until we went to uh, until we got shipped up to Alaska. Oh, okay. All right. And where were you in Alaska? I was in Fort Richardson, Alaska. Uh, what did you do? And where did you say you went? What does, what's that? Where did you go before Alaska? Uh, Fort Lewis, Washington. In, in Washington State? Or? Yep, yeah, Washington State. And what did you do there for a week? Uh, did not, just, did nothing much of anything. Just like staging? Right. All right, preparing you right, for the next, for, next uh, part of your trip. Right. So how long were you in, uh, in Alaska? I was in Alaska for two years. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And, um... Okay, um, yeah, how long? Two years? Two years. And what was your job up there? Well, 
gives him the right to... <laughs> That's a hot loud story, because when I went up there, I was attached to a, an artillery unit, the 41st right. artillery. Right. But uh, at that time, I went in the service club one night, and... Uh, uh, there were guys singing in there. Okay. And I, I asked somebody, "What was this all about?" And he says, "Well, this is this was the chorus, and uh, this chorus is going to go on special duty if they get good enough." Uh -huh. So I figured. I said to myself, "That's for me." So anyway, I tried out for the chorus and I made it, and I was in the chorus for the whole two years I was there. So, so you got to practice your singing. Yes, you sure did. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I didn't do much singing then. Actually, the, it was the chorus that got me the singing. Really? Yep. It was the, it was the chorus that did what now? That that got me into singing. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay. So you okay? So you developed your singing skills, right? Gotcha. All right. Well, um, was that your job? Well, that was my job for two years because we went on special duty. Oh, really? I was put on special duty. Okay, so okay, so where did you go? I, I was still attached to the the, the unit. Uh huh. But uh, I didn't do much with them. I just slept there. Uh huh. Okay. And we went when I was on the chorus. We toured all Alaska. Mm -hmm. We were on TV. We went to sing in different schools, and we were singing in competition and. Virginia and all over. Mm -hmm. It was a great job. Okay, so where did you go? Tell me some of the places you went. Tell me all the places you went. Well, uh, I can't remember all well, the names. Yes. Well, we went to, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, I can't think of it. We went to a place called Whittier. Uh -huh. That's in Alaska. Okay. We went to Point Barrow. And because uh, I know that there's an Air Force base there, but I can't think of the name. Right. Well, so you just went around Alaska? Yep. You didn't go outside of Alaska? Oh, we did. We, we went to Virginia and one of the Carolinas in competition. Uh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, how many hours a day did you train in the chorus? Eight hours? Oh, uh, well, maybe not eight hours, maybe uh, two or three hours in the morning, a couple hours in the afternoon. Uh huh. And what did you do the rest of the time? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, you might have said it was a, a, a dream came true. Okay, all right. So where else did you travel while you were in the service? Where did I travel? Well, so you were there for two years, right? I was there for two years. Didn't you tell me you did three years total? Well, no. Uh, the other year, the other year I was in when the reserve unit was called in. I went to uh, uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Okay. So anyway, before we. That was afterwards, correct? Right, right. after the two years. So tell me, what was Alaska like? Oh, uh, well, actually, I, lo I loved Alaska. Alaska was great to me. Uh -huh. And uh, not only that, because uh, I met a girl in Alaska. Uh oh. And I was married in Alaska. Oh, okay. So that made it even better. Uh huh. So between the singing and the marriage, it was perfect. Heaven, huh? Right. Okay. That was perfect. Okay. Um... Let them make see. Well, tell me a couple of your most memorable experiences while while you were in Alaska. We could put a page on our website. Oh, well, boy, yes. That's a hard one. Okay, though. That's a hard one because there's so many of them. Well, give me a couple of good ones. No, I don't. Tell me ten. I don't care. Some of the some of the experiences was to to sing on. Uh, on TV up there in Anchorage, Alaska, uh -huh. where I met Walter Brennan oh. and uh, wow. some other celebrities. Okay. And uh, taking me back to my childhood. Go ahead. Who else? <laughs> you remember who else besides Walter Brennan? Yeah. Uh, I only remember him because okay. he, he was one of my favorite uh, <laughs> stars. <laughs> okay. Did, did you ever see any combat? Did I ever see combat? No. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, what else did you do in Alaska? What did you do for entertainment? Well, I, I, as I say, I was married. You were I got married there. Okay. And uh, I think that was the first year I was there. Right. And uh, 
That was we we my wife and I used to go out. We, That's and, what we did. We went to the movie theaters and we, we went to the town of Anchorage. Oh, okay. And went shopping and went out for dinner there and one thing and another. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. You have any children while you were there? Uh, no. Okay. But she got pregnant. Uh huh. And, and we had one went after when we got out. Okay. The first year. Right. Um, did you go on leave while you were up there? Yeah. Where'd you go? I went to Washington State oh. because she had went down there to visit some relatives. Right, and uh, we got, we got off for a week in which we which we weren't supposed to leave Alaska. Uh oh, but I left Alaska. Okay, for the week nobody knew any difference. Right, here we go. Okay, so uh, what did you do while you were in Washington State? Oh well, I just well I I, I met some of her relatives and we went to her relatives' houses for dinner and stuff like that. Uh -huh, okay. I was not there all that long. I was only there a week. Right. Is that where she was from? No, she was from Idaho. Oh, but she had relatives in Washington State. Right. Okay. All right. And, and she had come up to Alaska to see some of her. her she had a her mother was married to an army man up there. Mm -hmm. So she came up there to meet, see her mother. Right. And that's how I met her. Okay. Okay. Um, were there ever any service-related injuries or casualties in your unit? Uh, no. No accidents? No. No. That you can remember? Nothing, nothing major. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, did you, were you awarded any um, medals or citations? Uh, you know that good conduct medal and right. all that. And the one for sh fire and the gun. Sharpshooter? Pilot sharpshooter. Oh, okay. Not, not bad. Bad. Okay, um... So, let's see. Um, how did you stay in touch with your family while you were up there? How did I stay in touch with my family? Yeah, not your wife, but people back home where you entered the service. Well, I used to write to my mother and father. My mother, my mother was still alive then. Yeah, I know that you're Scottish, right? Right. So were your parents living in the States or back in Scotland? Oh, they were in Scotland. Oh, okay. Right. Did you stay in touch with them? I buy mail. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um, good. Uh, did you have all the supplies that you needed? Did I have what? All of the supplies that you oh, needed. Of course. Good. Good. All right. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. Um, Okay, so besides Alaska and Washington State, did you travel anywhere? Oh, you told me you traveled around. You said you went to, where else did you go? You went to Virginia. Virginia and one of the Carolinas, North, South, South Carolina. And, and that was with the Coral? That was with the Coral. Coral, okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. How long did you go? How long were those those trips? Oh, a they week? were short. They were only maybe a few days. A few days at a time? Okay. Um, okay, tell me, was there anything particular, <laughs> particularly humorous or unusual uh, while you were serving? Well, one time we were on field maneuvers when a couple of the little bears come into the camp and uh, was, was getting uh, food from the around the mess hall. Right. Uh, other than that, I yeah. can't think of anything else. Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. How did you get along with um, your uh, your peers and your fellow, uh, well, how did you get along with peers and officers? I got along with them all. But, okay. I got along well with all no, of them. Uh, in fact, the second time I was in, when I was in, when the reserve unit was called, yeah. I was uh, the company commander's driver. Oh, really? Yeah. And what did you, what did that entail? That entailed taking the com company man, commander, wherever he wanted to go, and mm -hmm. things like that. That's what I did. It was a pretty easy job. It was a great job. Great job. Okay. <laughs> Whenever there was a good job going, I was around. You were, <laughs> you were the guy that got it. Huh? That's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay, so you, where was the next place you were stationed? After Alaska. Uh, oh, 
to, to get to get out. I came to uh, back to Fort Dix, New Jersey. Okay, and you said we were there for a week. A week? Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm confused. Didn't you say you were in the service? Oh, you said you were in the reserve. Well, uh, right. Okay, so you went back to Fort Dix to separate? Right. All right. <laughs> so um, when you got out of the service? Completely. Yeah. Out of, out of, um, out of active duty. Uh -huh. Then you did another year in the reserve? Another year. Mm -hmm. Where? Well, I was, that's when I was in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and what was your job then? Driving the company commander. <laughs> okay. All right. So what well, would you just go once a month, right? How often did you go to reserve? Oh no, no, that the reserve unit, the reserves were called to active duty. Oh really? Of course. Oh. The reserves was called in for a year. Oh really? Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, but you were just there. Or did you go somewhere? Well, we had to, we went through a regular uh, field maneuvers and, and uh, you know, different. Uh, you went through the works with the army. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well, John, don't forget your Were you were you stationed? And Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The whole t okay. All right. So you did maneuvers there. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, so. Uh, so you were there every day for a whole year. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get around. That's what I was. When I did reserve, I went once a month and then two weeks. Well, I did that for a while before I went before the reserve unit was called in. Oh, okay. I did that before. Uh, before okay. we were called to active duty. Okay. So all right. Oh, all right. So after you separated, so to speak, before you went to reserve, what were you doing when you got back home? Were you working? Before I went to the reserves? Yeah, were you working? Well, I went to work. What were you doing? It's on our website. Well, at that time I was working on a private estate. Uh -huh. I was a gardener. Okay. All right. And um, <laughs> did you use your GI Bill for anything? No, nothing. Okay, so you're working as a gardener. So how long had you been on that job before you got called back to active reserve? Uh, approximately a year. Uh huh. Yeah, about a year. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, so you were home for a year, then you got called back mm -hmm. for a year. And uh, okay. So did you were you deployed anywhere else besides the Carolinas? Uh, no. You're just right there. No, we stayed there. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, I guess you gained some more rank by that time, huh? Oh, I. So what rank did you say you were when you separated finally? Corporal. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Uh, I guess that helped your pay grade out, huh? Uh -huh. That helped your pay grade out. You got more money. A little bit. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah. So, okay. When you finally um, separated, mm -hmm. um, from you know the service. What did you do after that? What I, well, I went back to a, in a private. I worked in a private estate uh -huh. on Long Island. Oh, and uh, uh, what happened was the the big the main house of the private estate burned down. It what? It burned down. Oh wow. Okay. And uh, so we got laid off. Uh huh. And then I went out one night to uh, to play the music with somebody. He had called me up and he says, "Would you mind playing with me for a party?" Uh -huh. And my next door neighbor says, so "No, I'll go." So I went to the party, and uh, because of that, somebody there was a big shot in the railroad. Oh, okay. And he asked me, "Did I want a job in the railroad?" I says, "I'd want to take a job anywhere right now." <laughs> so a couple of weeks later, they called me up, and I started on the railroad. Oh, okay. Oh, was that the Long Island Railroad? Long Island Railroad. Oh, okay. And what were you doing? Oh, at that time I was a laborer. Oh. Started as a laborer. Uh huh. And where did that career lead you to? Well, I ended up as an electrician. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And how many years did you do that? How long were you a laborer? All near about a year. Okay, and then. They and trained then I got, you? Uh, no, I got. I had to do some time as an electrician, helper. Probably about three years. Did you say southpaw? Helper. 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 Oh, um, and that's how you learned. Right. Uh -huh. And then I got an electrician's job, so that's why I uh, came and, up. And how long did you do that? 25 years. On the Long Island Railroad? Yep. <laughs> okay. And you, I guess you, you eventually retired, huh? I am. Uh-huh. So, um, did you use your GI Bill to get a house or no. education no. or anything? Nothing. No? Oh, okay. 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 Um, 
So, uh, did you make any close friendships while you were in the service? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. All right. And uh, did you hold on to those friendships over the years? Well, not really. Not really. No. No. Not really. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, did you join any veterans organizations when you got out of the service? No. No? The words they use Okay. The only thing I played for veterans organizations when I played the music. Say that again? I, I, I was in involved in veterans organizations when I played the music. Oh, okay. VFWs and American oh. Legion and stuff like that. I did all that. A lot so of that. it's not like you were a member, but you still... Ah, right. I played for them. Perform. Okay. Right. Where did you do those performances? Uh, in Long in Long Island. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. At the VFWs and VFW, who else? American Legions, uh -huh. places like that. Uh -huh. okay. All right. All right. And um, so, what? What? Um, how many? How many children did you go on to have? How many what? Children? Do I have? You, yeah. Three. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And, um, okay. All right. Uh, do you attend any reunions or anything from the military? Uh, no. But, you, be but you, do you belong to this Veterans Caucus? I belong to the one here now. I just joined. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And how long have you been in the Veterans Caucus? About uh, a month. A month. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, how do you like it so far? Gosh, so far it's okay. Okay. All right. Um, how did um? How did? Let me see. Okay. Did your military experience uh, influence your thinking about war or about the military in general? No. 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 Not at all. No. Nope. Wasn't in there during the war time. You you were what? I was just glad I wasn't in there during war time. I got you. I got you. All right. Um. As a part of their campaign. Well, okay. After you had had that entire military experience for a three year period, you know, military bearing, mm -hmm. uh, plus, you know, living on a military base. No, I wasn't living on the base. Never? Never. Even in Alaska? No. Well, in basic training you did. No, I didn't live. Oh, oh, well, I lived on the base, of course. Yeah. And in Alaska, too. I, right. Yeah, I was I wondering. Did, of course. Yeah. What, what was it like living on the base in Alaska? Oh, it was fine. It was good. Yeah, okay. All right, so you, you did have, the military did influence your life, correct? Oh, of course. Okay, so, so I want you to I just, wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I, I believe I my army time. No, I, 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 I love being in the Air Force. I really did. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So I'm, I'm just trying to find out how did your service experience, in your own words, how did that affect your life? Yeah, I like your idea there. Yeah, good idea. I, I can't say that it did. Congratulations. <laughs> well, uh, discipline, uh, organization. Um, no, I can't say that. No? No. You just like that's all we have to do is You were just I ready was just to, myself ready and that's to go, what I am and that's what I was. You just ready to go, huh? Nice right. <laughs> I was a good soldier. Uh -huh. I was. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> when you went through basic training, uh, did they teach you how to use a gun then? Mm -hmm. Okay. What was that all about? What was that training like? How often did you go to the range? Oh, that I don't remember, but uh, I'm not a gun person. No, I understand. Uh, but you said you, you, you got a, a ribbon or right, a medal I did. for a shot. I learned to shoot the rifle. That yeah. was about it. Did, what was that? Did you have to clean it and all of that? Of course. Take care of it? And yep. We did. Yeah, how, how was that detailed? How did that? Uh, it was a job you had to do, so right. we did it. Right. Okay. So you, you never had any conflicts. You don't seem like the type of person. I'm just asking. No. You, you never had any conflicts. You just no, no. I got along with it. Went along with the program, huh? Of you didn't have any problems uh, following orders or always any of that, huh? I got along with uh, even my, when I'm my working years. I got along well with my bosses and everything else. Uh huh. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. So um. Let me ask you about that electrical, uh, your career as an electrician. Uh -huh. How much training did you have to do over the years? Was there updates or what kind of electrical work did you do on the train? What did I do? Okay. Okay. First, it was on the electric cars. Uh -huh. They have electric motors on them. Right. Well, every so often you 
some of the dirty work you got when you first started. You got the dirty work of changing the brushes and the motors, right. which was a dirty job. Uh -huh. And then as time went on, you got more into uh, a little less messy jobs. Right. Changing ballasts and the lights, changing the heaters on the floor, and stuff like that. Okay. So, um, do you ever, were there ever any incidences? Anybody ever get hurt? Uh, there, there was an incident on the, while, on, while I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys, he was working on between the trains. And the, somehow this train moved and it's killed them. Oh Lord! Okay, that's the worst one. And then there was another incident where uh, I was on it, uh -huh. and uh, I was. We were moving the trains from outside to in the shop. Right. And uh, uh, we. Uh, I had to go up and throw the switch for the guy, the guy who was operating the train. Right. And he, we got it going, and it was going faster and faster. And he says to me, hey, "I've got no brakes on this." So I jumped off the train. The train went through the wall. Okay. <laughs> what kind of wall? A, a wall, that, and it almost went out into a big main highway. Really, it was the end of the line, huh? Yeah. And where was that at? That was in Jamaica, in, in New York. Jamaica, Queens, huh? Jamaica, Queens, right? That's where we got to take the test. Near Sufton Boulevard. That's where, that's where I grew up. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just trying to imagine this because if I remember correctly, oh, it was in the papers, never. Oh, really? Yeah, what year was that? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember, huh? <laughs> Wow, that must have been exciting. And that was, talk about experience, that was an experience. When that guy said he had no brakes, off I went. Well, I couldn't have done anything anyway. So, so did anybody get hurt? No. Oh, boy. No, nobody got hurt. Were, how many people were on the train? No, there was, it was sitting out in the yard, oh. which had to be bring in for repair. Gotcha. Okay. So no, there was, was no the, passengers. No, no passengers. And just, no other crew members. Just the, the guy who was driving and me. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How much damage was done? <laughs> I took down the whole wall. <laughs> what about to the train? Was there? Well, any I did some damage, damage to that to train, the train, huh? Yeah. Because you know, I had these bumper blocks on the end of the lo end of the rail. Yeah. It went right through that and right through the wall. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so what what happened after that? Who uh, who showed up? How many? Police who showed up. Oh, of course, uh, that all happened. Well, okay, but okay. But, and the boss interviewed me and everything else. That was an overhead train. No, was it, oh, it was on the right. Okay, it was on it the was ground. It was coming into the shop. It was on the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, shipyard, like the shipyard. Right. 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 Yeah. Shop. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's good that nobody else got hurt. That's for sure. Okay. Um. All right, well, do you think that there's anything else that you'd like to share with us about your experience in the military? I told you there wasn't much I could tell you. That's okay. No, that was fine. I didn't have really had a... Interesting, interesting to me, but it might not be interesting to somebody else. Well, no, is, are you leaving anything out? Huh? Are you leaving anything out uh, that might? No. Oh, oh no. Okay. No, no, it was, that was fine. Oh no, I, I gave you all. No, thank you. Thanks for your service. Like you asked me all these questions, made me bring yeah. back things that I forgot. I have my hat right Sort of stirred things up a little bit. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, I would just really like to thank you for your service. Oh, that's okay. And uh, you will get a copy. Oh, okay. Right. Thanks, John. Okay.